Mm. This fish was great. But I'm getting full. Are you getting full? I'm getting a little full. Okay. That's right. Maybe we'll have to do some of this in the morning. Hey, so, breakfast time. Last night we had a little leftover. Is that white cod? Yes, it was white cod. Uh, with, and it was, yeah, yeah delicious. Preserved, preserved the preserved lemons. Oh <laughs> my God. I'll show you guys some time. And we don't want to waste it. Yes. So we are going to have this amazing. What are we having with the eggs today? Well, this is going to be, uh, if they were just a flat bottom dish, it would be eggs, uh, sheared eggs. But since they are going to be eggs with stuff in a bain marie, we're going to call them eggs en cocotte. So I'm going to create like a little base of cream, heavy cream at the bottom of each of these dishes. The reason I'm doing that is because. It's going to make it nice and um, and slippery inside the dish. I'm going to add a little bit of onion in the bottom down here in each one of these. And this is going to give it a little bit of that um, uh, aromatic flavor. So let's get plenty of that going on. Hello, Frankie. No, you can't have any. All right. So now we've got the onion in the bottom here. And I usually want to craft just a little bit of salt in the bottom of each one of these to make sure that there's some flavor happening at the bottom of the bulb top. We're not going to go too crazy on the salt because the preserved lemons actually have a lot of salt in them already. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and break apart this cod. And it's going to be seriously this easy. Just breaking it by hand. Just breaking a little bit by hand, that's all. Yeah, I'm going to pile it sort of decoratively in one side of the dish. There we go. Piling decoratively is all we're doing here. Frankie desperately wants some of this fish, I can tell. So what we're talking about here is mm -hmm. about, it's about as much fish as mm, maybe half a hamburger, mm -hmm. we'll call it. Sure. All right. That's my, that. that's my guy's cooking half sort of hamburger. measurement. <laughs> there we go. All right. And then we go ahead and now that we've got the fish in there, I'm going to crack the egg into it. So let's go ahead and pop this guy in. And next one. And next one. And next one. All right. Oh, there's the eggs. Let's sprinkle a little bit of green over the middle-ish here. Try to leave the uh, yellow of the egg reasonably untouched. Okay, now let's crack a little bit of pepper over the top again. It's going to make it nice and pretty. Fabulous. I'm going to just kind of scooch some of this fish down here into the bowl to make sure that the cooking medium catches it. Right. So that's not because you're worried about spilling. That's just because you want it to cook yeah. evenly? Just want it to cook evenly. All right. That's literally all you've got to do. And, then and speaking of add, cooking evenly, right? We're going to go ahead and turn this into a bain marie now. See how I'm pouring this carefully? This is boiling water. The stove's been preheated to 350 degrees. Just going to make sure that there is plenty of water in here. Yes, Francis. No, you can't be in the video. I mean, like, get down from there. <laughs> Come on, cat. Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> and ready to go in. Be super careful. Now we're going to bake that for about 20 minutes. All right, I like to add butter <clears throat> before it's all the way done cooking as opposed to waiting to the very end. I think it gives it a little bit better flavor. You get a little bit of the gratiné happening in there. All right, so as my husband likes to say, we put an unscientific thwack in. Come on, you. Six, seven minutes, probably. Okay. Oh, those look gorgeous. There we go. So, what do you think? Mm, I think it was pretty incredible. That was a feast day. <laughs> okay, this looks unbelievable. Butter. 
I'm glad. That's the deal we got from uh, mm -hmm. Full Circle. I'm glad I started that. So once you kind of get it going here, mm -hmm. the cream comes in, the egg is there, all there. <sighs> I'm just going to have a bite by myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think you're amazing. <laughs> And as far as food safety goes, I mean, the fish mm -hmm. is already cooked, right? Yes, it's already cooked. Now, you're still, if it's been in the fridge for a little bit, you, you're not just throwing it from the fridge right in. It is getting a little cooked here, but... It is a little bit. So, But the reason that you do all of the cream and the butter is the same reason that you do fats on just about any food that could get tough if you reheat it, which is to say that it's going to get all uh, gushy and tasty again. Got the, the flavor. This is just, it's so hearty and delicious. I love this fish variation. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. You, madam. Mm -hmm. Hats off to you. <laughs> I love you. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as you all know by this time, I, I don't have a Patreon. I don't have, you know, don't have any care in the world if you like, share, subscribe, or any of those things that most YouTubers want you to do. All I really want you to do is keep enjoying yourself, keep having fun, and some of you stick around for, you know, ye old prize pelican. Some of you have been probably seeing this in the bottom of the pelican case for a while, ever since we gave away the first one. And you're like, oh, when's he going to give away the other handcuff key? I want that crazy handcuff key. Not as cool as the Tool Universal handcuff key, but of course, if you go back to one of my previous videos, you can see how to modify a handcuff key in such a fashion. But this one comes with a little, a little zipper pull that you can hide a key in that doesn't look at all suspicious. It's clearly a regular size zipper pull that could never contain anything illicit. Or you can use this little belt clip job that uh, you can hide a cuff key that way. So yes, if, if you would like yourself a tactical handcuff key, what you do is down in those comments, we pick a word that is a tasty, wonderful, good thing that you would put into your face. Now, fuck it. The word is eggs. Nice and simple. Anyone can type the word eggs, not screw it up, not hard to spell, like when I give you strange uh, varietals of wine or types of scotch that are unpronounceable to some people. A lot of people had trouble with Lagavulin, not going to lie. But yeah, put eggs down in a comment uh, as part of a sentence or a part of a whole paragraph or just by itself. And then we will randomly, by means of internet magic, choose one of you. And I will reply to you and get in touch and say, hey, uh, you won this thing. I'm sticking it in an envelope, possibly with an appropriate greeting card. And I want to send it to you. So, sound good? Excellent. Keep watching. Uh, I love this. I, I love giving away things from the prize bin. This is marvelous. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.